Hey, this is Sean. Uh, I'm a core member with AmeriCorps St. Louis Emergency Response Team. Um, uh, today I'm going to go through the recommended reading list is for that I got for class 20 and for 21. And, uh, you can find it in the back of your welcome packet. Again, it's recommended, suggested reading list. Uh, none of it's required. But I wanted to go through each of the books. I do have I have all six books here or in my possession. And there's a couple other books that I also want to talk about that are not on this list. As, uh, I'm going to go through all the books. I'm going to leave the the fire books till the very end and just personal preference. Uh, the first book on the list is uh, Caught in the Path. Uh, the, uh, it's about the Ruskin Heights tornado oh, uh, 20th of May 1957 and it's pretty much a collection of first-hand accounts of what happened. Uh, how how people survived, uh, the response, uh, the emotions that they were feeling, and um, pretty much their experiences in the tornado. Oh, uh, it's an interesting read. There's a lot of interesting stories in here. Er, I felt it was kind of outdated. It, um, it is from 1957, and so it's is different. One that's more, that's very similar, that is more, or uh, more relevant to uh, the AmeriCorps St. Louis program, um, is a book titled oh, the 541. It's stories from the Joplin tornado. Uh, Joplin happened during class 17, and I was a Corps member with uh, NCCC, the National Civilian Community Corps, or responded alongside the ERT in response to ooh, the tornado. Oh, uh, it's pretty much a collection of essay stories about people's experiences in here. The reason why I I suggest this book is because you you can see what people went through. You can you can feel the the emotions that they went through and in the moment that changed their lives forever. Or uh, when you're responding to a disaster, it's good to have background and it's good to know kind of what they were going through, or what happened, and and how they they can view it. So, oh, Caught in the Path is a good book, but I suggest uh, uh, 541 on as more of an updated version of that. Uh, the next book on the reading list is Confronting Catastrophe. A, uh, it's a very, very technical book uh, uh, about the histories of disaster or uh, how pe people, governments respond. Uh, again, very technical, very dry. I, uh, it's more. It reads more like a textbook, so it's really difficult to get through. Even if you are extremely interested, like I, I am. Um, uh, it does have some really good information. It has some really interesting case studies. Is it's still a great resource to have. Uh, uh, going down the list, uh, facing the expected, a disaster preparedness in the U United States. It's again, this is very technical, oh, very, very dry at times. I'm, uh, I found that it is very outdated, mostly because it came out, out before Katrina. Uh, after Katrina, FEMA went through, who. Are lots of reforms. The post post Katrina uh, emergency emergency management reform act uh, uh, changed a lot of what this talks about in theory 
what needs to change that are that change has already begun to happen and again this is a it's a good interesting read it about uh, the theories behind emergency management and uh, and how we respond as emergency managers there's again gonna skip past uh, fire and ashes real quick I'll come back to it in just a second and uh, the next book uh, on the reading list is introduction to emergency management and I found this is probably one of the best books on the on the reading list unfortunately it's a textbook and it it's the most expensive I found this at a a used bookstore for $85 Ers, that being said it's great it's uh, up to date eight for the most part I, I believe it was updated in 2009 and so there most likely will be another edition coming out eventually but it's it's more of the big picture or uh, if you ever wonder why FEMA does what they do this is a great book to start All right, uh, it's an introduction it is very thick it is it is very technical but it has a lot of good information within it and uh, the next book book is actually one of the books that I have not read yet so I can't really talk about it um, as much uh, uh, but from what I what I've seen it does get technical in some aspects uh, again I haven't read it yet so can't really talk about it it going off of these four books uh, one of the one of the books that I read this year that it includes a lot of what facing the expected and confront confronting catastrophe tries to get at especially with uh, social resilience and in the communities is in and it is a book called Paradise Built in Hell oh uh, this is a very I won't say it's easy to read but it's easier it's more of a narrative instead of a textbook uh, uh, it talks about the communities that come out of disasters or uh, both the good bad and the ugly um, it's it's a beautiful read it, it talks about, about how how we as responders need to understand that us coming in as outsiders or as to a disaster is going to be a lot different than if we were there in the moment that it actually happened and uh, Paradise Built in Hell great read and now going on to the fire books um, book on the list is Fire and Ashes is it's a very interesting read especially if you're looking at getting into wild and fire or a it's a case study of three historical fires there's uh, the rattlesnake fire the um, saddler fire or in the man gulch fire or uh, all three were either extremely close calls or fatality fires or so it goes into the history behind each of the fires uh, some of the lessons learned what needs to change and uh, some of the watch out situations if you're interested in in this uh, John McLean and his father uh, Norman McLean in are the forefront front runners of wildfire books uh, he does go over uh, the man Gulch fire or slightly if you're more interested in, in that his father wrote young men in fire or and this is all about the man Gulch fire or it's a interesting read it especially like I said especially if you are looking at going into ooh, wild and fire in the future or one of the essential books for that at 
I also picked this book up this year, or In Fire's Way. It's more about the the wild and urban interface, uh, where that begins, where that ends, and how that's changing over the years. We don't get too much into the wild and urban interface in our program, but it does ha After reading this, I did begin to realize why we do some of the things we do in this program. Uh, why we thin the forest, why, why, why prescribed burning is extremely valuable and important or an aspect of of uh, fire management and and what again some of the things that need to change as our in, a, in our society when it comes to wild and urban interface um, a book that I don't have that is extremely that I've been told is extremely valuable is on the fire line by Matthew Desmond and that's one of the books that, that I'm looking for that I'm probably going to read this summer. It talks about uh, why wildland firefighters are the way they are, are uh, and not not the glorious heroes that everybody makes them out to be, but more of what makes them human and, and why they why they do what they do. Ooh, um, there's hundreds and hundreds of wildland fire books out there uh, that you can find and all of them are extremely valuable. Uh, the last book I want to talk about is a book that that has helped me a lot, uh, Trauma Stewardship. Uh, basically, this book is about how do we take care of care of ourselves, and be, and how are we able to take care of others? Whereas, uh, it does it has a talks a lot about. Uh, uh, Disasters more in social and uh, economic disaster, but it's a good resource for anybody, anybody in the emergency management field, old anybody in the disaster world. When you come into a disaster like Joplin and you start listening to their stories, is you start taking in and that those emotions and how that changes you. So Trauma Stewardship, it's a beautiful read. It, I think this is one of the best books written for people in disaster response, emergency management field. Old. Uh, of, of all the books that I talked about, uh, the books that I feel are the most essential, well, Trauma Stewardship, Paradise Built in Hell, uh, Fire and Ashes is uh, 541, and emergency ma introduction to emergency management, and uh, these are are my top five. I've uh, that doesn't mean you take and throw out the rest, the other four, or they ha they have some really great information, and but. Some of them are a little outdated. Some of them are very technical. It depends what you are into, and if you really want to look into a the field of emergency management and disaster response, all of these books are beautiful, beautiful old old texts that will help you understand why we do the things that we do.